Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm putting a 30 inch light bar in my Chevy Silverado without the uh, grill brackets, which are 70 bucks. It's more than the light bar. I actually got the light bar on eBay uh, for $30 and it was on sale from $54 and it came with a bunch of extra hardware, all the wiring, relay, fuses, switch. Really? And actually impressed. It's pretty high quality. I thought I was just getting the light bar and I would have to buy the brackets, but um, we're going to see if today we can get away without the brackets. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the cowl off and just pop uh, these. Uh, I believe there's 10. With the, uh, I have the little tool to do it, but you can do it with a screwdriver. So let me get back to you on that. So now that the uh, cowl pops right off, I'm going to be setting that aside for now. Um, we're going to have to take four of these grill bolts out, so however you want to do it. I uh, like my ratchet. Just these four. One, two, uh, three, four. Got them all. Um, the next step we're going to be doing, put that aside right there, is taking the two bolts out over here. These are a seven millimeter. I like to use my quarter point. You can all do these with a ratchet. It's just uh, these electronic ratchets are a lot quicker. There's one there and there's one underneath here. So that comes out like that. Now there's going to be four bolts underneath. There's going to be one under the headlight one under the grill, another one over here, and another one under this headlight. After getting these four bolts out and um, two on the sides, the two underneath in the center, which I'm going to uh, show you guys right now is what, what I'm talking about. It's uh, a little bit difficult to get to, but... So imagining this being the dead center of the truck Chevy logo is up here by the grill um, this is one 10 millimeter over here one ten millimeter, and then here's your other 10 millimeter. next we're gonna get the two under the headlights and the uh, last two bolts I had to get out but this is the tire right here um, for reference point they're right there. It was actually pretty hard getting that ratchet in there. I had to get it at a pretty good angle. Um, but I was able to get all that one and the two, three other ones down here out without any issue. Not really too hard. Just, you know, I actually didn't even jack up the truck. I'm just laying on my back. You're gonna wanna go ahead and kind of just pull that out a little bit. Pull up on the grill. It's hard, really hard one handed, but just pull up and back towards the front of your vehicle a little bit. There's your grill, and uh, make sure you're not ripping anything out too hard because you will break a tab off. And, you know, that's definitely not ideal. So we just pull that out a little bit. that clipped back in up there. So just pull that out and get it close here. So after popping that out, we can, uh, it actually detached from my bumper. So carefully, I'm gonna pull this aside, set this down and on my bumper, just lift up and pull straight out. Now the truck is entirely exposed. Next, we're going to be mounting the light bar with zip ties and then leveling it off to make sure our mounts will line up perfectly level. So after figuring out where I want the light bar, um, this kit actually included a couple of very nice uh, pieces I like, like the bracket to mount to and a little 
rubber spacer so you just drill a little hole through there and uh, set it right up on top and then you won't damage you know whether whatever surface you're bolting it through which I do like quite a bit but I'm just gonna just grab this for now I'm gonna show you guys now that we made sure it's level with the bubble and uh, that we have enough space to drill this hole straight through, which I'm going to do. I did it on the other side. I'm going to show you guys what I did. Um, the provided bolt was not long enough, unfortunately. Um, may swap these out with stainless steel, um, but for right now, this is working out really well for me. And uh, I just put, I believe this is a two and a half inch quarter 20 with a washer and a lock nut. Um, we'll have to figure out how I'm gonna tighten this and this whole light bar will bolt right there with uh, no issues whatsoever. So no clearance issues and we're level. So we're gonna go ahead and drill that hole. Be careful when putting pressure on uh, your drill to go through that you don't like poke a hole through the radiator because that would just make this job a lot worse. But um, now that we have that hole lined up, I'm going to go ahead and put the bolts through that one. So I'm gonna cut the zip ties, I'm gonna mock it all up and I'm gonna show you guys what I did. So uh, what I did is I took my little Allen with the provided Allen key, put my lock washer and my washer up, then I just cut the zip ties here, I pulled it out, put it right in line where I wanted it, and uh, nothing is snugged up right now so I can, you know, angle it up and down, see how it's got the little teeth in there, and it'll actually hold it pretty good at whatever angle you want it was adjustable um, but I, I really like that right there yeah, I'm gonna tighten everything up a little bit but um it's pretty solid right there nice and clean level Yep, right in the middle. So for the wiring portion of this, it does come with the switch with the plug connector on there. But the other end of this plug connector is far too uh, big to shove through this boot I'm, I'm looking to go through. So what I did is I took my uh, took a small screwdriver and I poked through the boot, making sure I wasn't poking through any of the wires. And um, I shoved the coat hanger that I cut and then I cut this uh, end of the plug off this wire which I'm gonna reattach make sure you leave enough space so you can uh, put all your connections back on but there's only three colors so it's not too big of an issue there's a ground and uh, <clears throat> hot negative and then um, I just taped it to this wire so we're gonna go inside the truck and pull that through so looking for the wire that I the coat hanger that I shoved through it might help if you have two people but right now I don't so I'm just pulling this gently through the boot which is kind of behind this box taking this box out might help but right now uh, I'm a little bit of a time crunch so we're gonna see if we can do it without that pulling it through. Careful you don't cut yourself with that. I'm gonna grab some gloves real quick. After I uh, pulled through that wire, I uh, spliced it, made sure it was all out of the way, tucked it up with some zip ties, making sure again it's out of the way of the paddles, no interference with the braking or uh, acceleration of this truck, and I uh, fed the wire up to here. I actually went this way down, down towards the uh, and just put the little sticky thing right, the sticky switch right on there. I like that. 
you know, it's not too obvious when uh, walking up to the truck. You're like, oh, just another, you know, part of the truck. But now it's for the light bar in the front that's hidden as well. So, uh, show you kind of what I have going on here. I'm definitely going to be extending these. I'm probably going to swap out that fuse because that doesn't really look too uh, weather protected. But, um, and those are pretty Chinese. And my battery's all the way over there. So I'm going to cut this out of the way. I'm going to splice another wire on. But um, I took my hood release, popped that out, and stuck that in there just to hold it in. So this is the boot I pulled the wire through. So there's that. And then I have the feed, power feed to the light bar, which I plan on taping all that up down there. But um, I just ran it in the factory clips. One there, one there running here underneath my uh front radiator bracket mount and uh kind of just in line with that and then straight down where i wired it and spliced it and then taped it to the light bar itself next step i just picked up the bumper with the uh, lip and uh set it right up there's some clips this has to push into like that make sure it seats correctly under the light and uh, give a little oomph. perfect right up in there <laughs> perfect right up in there I know the trucks are real dirty but now all we have to do is replace our two uh, seven millimeters. Right. Putting the uh, front lip in here and uh, just putting our seven millimeters back up in here. That one's in and the... Perfect. Everything's secure, body lines look good. Now for the other side. Take our four uh, ten millimeter and... Uh, Come right in for the grill. The grill map. Make sure it's all locked in properly. The light bar fits. Fits really nice. I really like that. Um, all I'm doing now is put the cowl back on, pushing these back in, and snapping them in. I like to leave the uh, little divot in uh, facing towards the front so I can easy access if I needed to get in there to change a headlight as an emergency or something. But, uh, Yep, power is next after we finish putting all these in, which I will do in a second. So uh, directly under the truck, this is the center of the truck. We're just gonna be putting the uh, bolts back in. There's one here. 10 millimeters, and there's one right there by that clip. They're both tight, and then there's one uh, right under the headlight. Before I wrap this completely up, I just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick uh, idea how the wiring went. Just the hot to the battery terminal. I extended the cable. This will be putting the wire a little bit pushed up here. Um, and zip tied as well, just so you guys can see it. Um, over here, I have the relay and the wiper release, I mean the hood release and the wires run along here like you guys saw before the fuse taped up i will be changing this out my ground i have extra slack but my ground goes right to there that's my ground the light bar looks excellent in my opinion truck is clean close there's about uh half an inch of play in between the front of the grill um that will Get taped up. Make sure you tape it up before driving it. So I just want to show you guys what the uh, switch looks like. So when you press on. Yes, we did get some snow. It's pretty cold outside. But yeah, that's very bright. I like it a lot. Um, throws out some good light. That's just that one light bar. Headlights are off, just so you guys know. Getting blinded by this light bar right now, but thank you guys for watching. It's about 20 degrees outside in Ohio. Um, 
But yeah, I'm very happy with this light bar. Just make sure you guys don't get caught driving on the street with it. Um, Off-road use only. If you're at the range, need some good uh, hindsight. I think I'm gonna bump it up a little bit. But um, yeah, it works great. Trucks off, it'll run forever. LED, really appreciate you guys watching. If uh, you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, anything else you want me to try out on this truck, more than happy to. If you want to send me something, more than happy to try it on this truck. Uh, really appreciate all the support, guys.